Yes. Do you have any doubt uh, whatsoever that uh, you are probably looking at somebody who may in fact have been tortured? Okay, let me first state this, Dr. Sally. <coughs> first, there has been a lot of uh, information circulating on the media that there is uh, a lot of crisis in Uganda. I want to assure all our viewers that there is no crisis in Uganda. The country is stable. And uh, only what we are experiencing are isolated acts of criminality, like what happened after the elections in uh, Arua. Secondly, Uganda remains committed to the tenets of democracy, rule of law, and respect for human rights. On the issues which the Honorable here has alluded to, they are before the court, and the court will pronounce itself on them. And here, we are guided by the rule of sub -judice. But let me say this. Uganda does not condone torture. And uh, whatever issues the Honorable has and any others of his association, any issues they have, will be pronounced on in court. Uganda has functioning institutions, and I'm sure the Honorable will agree with me that he's benefiting from some of them. He's now here on bail, uh, and, uh, and uh, he, will, he, will, he, will, he will continue to, to observe the due process. On the alleged torture, as a principle, the torture was one of the very reasons the government in Uganda came into being because of past uh, activities by the governments of the day. Secondly, Uganda is a signatory to the United Nations Convention against Tokyo. In fact, it is the NRM government that ratified this charter in 1987. 